So you want to get some creatures and put them on your raft, but then you found out that you need a net cannon with ammo and the only way to make ammo is with explosive powder that you can only harvest from a dead puffer fish? Or maybe you're evil, you just want to know how to kill a puffer fish before it kills you? Well, you came to the right place. I'm gonna show you how to kill a puffer fish, so let's go! Before you can kill a puffer fish, you need to know where to find them. Well, of course, they are in the waters around the large islands. But then again, where to find them in the waters around the large islands? Well, usually if you see a floating debris like this, with green goo and some plastic and that kind of stuff, beneath it is a treasure chest, and in that area usually is also a puffer fish. But that's not always the case, so sometimes you just need to swim around a little bit more and then you can find one as well. The large islands that I have visited, they had around four puffer fish each island. So you have plenty of chances to kill a puffer fish and to get the explosive powder as well. And once you have located the puffer fish, you have two ways to kill it. The easy way and the hard way. The hard way to kill a puffer fish is with a spear. And why is it harder? Well, you need to be much closer to the puffer fish before you can do some damage to it. So now you have a bigger chance to make a mistake, let the puffer fish get too close and then it will explode and the puffer fish will then be gone. Then you don't have the kill, you don't get the rewards for killing it because the dead body is not there anymore and you need to find a new puffer fish. So what is a good way to kill a puffer fish with a spear? Well you need to poke it one time, then you need to swim backwards, then you need to get some distance, let it cool down and then you can poke it again. If you use a metal spear then you need to poke it four times before it dies. And if you use a wooden spear, you need to poke it much more, because you do less damage of course with wood than with metal. Once it is dead, collect the body, get some explosive goo and also get a hat that you can put on your own head, or you can put it on a wall as a trophy, and the explosive goo, put it in a forge and then it will become explosive powder. And of course, now you wanna know what is the easy way to kill a puffer fish? Well, that is with a bow and arrow. And why is this the easy way? Because you can keep more distance between you and the puffer fish. And with this distance, the chance of you making a mistake and let the puffer fish explode before you kill it is most likely to be zero. And also keep in mind, if you use arrows, collect the arrows before you collect the body. And because you can collect your arrows back, you can use them for another puffer fish or another creature to kill and I think that way it is also much better to use the bow and arrow instead of a spear. Of course the durability of the bow will go down and you will eventually need to make a new bow but still using a bow and arrow is much easier than using a spear for killing a puffer fish. And if you're using metal arrows then you need three of them to kill a puffer fish and if you use stone arrows of course you need to use more arrows to kill a puffer fish. So now it's up to you to kill a puffer fish. Whether this is with a bow and arrow or with a spear, that's all up to you. But at least now you know how to kill a puffer fish. So go out there, collect the explosive goose, collect the puffer fish heads, put them on your own head, put them on the trophy wall and make some canisters and then get some creatures to put on your own raft. So that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, then leave a like. Leave any thoughts about this video off there in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already watched your more in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I'll see you all in the next video stream. Bye-bye!